Hello friends, this is Vira from Chennai. I am a chess coach. My academy name is Youngsters Chess Foundation and also I am working as a freelancer chess coach. In this channel, I am going to post the chess lessons regularly. So today we are going to see the game of William Steinitz. He is the first official world chess champion and also known as father of chess. Ok, let's see this masterpiece. He played this game when he was 59 years old. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, c3, knight f6, d4, jigop. So this opening name is Jigo Piano, but also known as Italian game. He takes d4, very obvious move. C takes d4 and bishop b4 check. So in this position, white can play knight c3 and also bishop d2. Stin is played knight c3. In this position, knight takes e4 is the main line and also best one, but black played d5. He takes d5. Knight takes d5. Castle. Here bishop e6 is dubious move because still black's king is in center so he should try bishop takes c3, b takes c3 then castle. This is the best continuation but he played bishop e6, bishop g5 bishop e7 in this position Steinitz found the simple but effective plan to prevent black from castling so pause the video and try to find that plan okay let's see the solution bishop takes d5 bishop takes d5 knight takes d5 queen takes d5 bishop takes e7 knight takes e7 and rook e1 so now it's a great position for white after the first minor pieces exchange now it's not an easy position for the black king to survive so here black played f6 planning to make an artificial castle by playing king f7 rook h e8 and king g8 and this move also controls the key squares of the white knight but this move creates slight weakness on e6 so white played queen e2 threatening queen takes e7 checkmate so black played queen d7 and rook a c1 so here black played c6 it's a serious mistake instead of c6 black can continue with king f7 this is the best move in this portion but i think black was afraid of queen takes e7 queen takes e7 rook takes e7 king takes e7 rook takes c7 check king d6 rook takes g7 2 pawns compensation for the exchange sacrifice but it's completely losing for white because of rook a c8 threatening rook c1 checkmate g3 and rook c7 here rook takes c7 is the only move because if white plays rook g4 then black will continue with rook c2 and black will win the pawn so rook takes c7 is the only move here king takes c7 king f1 rook e8 it's completely good position for black because of white knight's bad mobility and bringing white king to the game will take more time which is the important fighting piece in the end game also black can attack queen side pawns easily with rook e6 rook b6 something like this 
so it's a good portion for black but i think he's afraid of this exchange sacrifice so he played c6 and this is a mistake now pause the video and try to punish black's mistake okay. let's see the solution now all the white pieces are developed but still white's knight doesn't look good because of its limited mobility so Steenix found the beautiful way to give the good role for his knight. He played d5. Good move. It's a square clearance with the idea of knight d4, knight e6. This is a good lesson from this game. Don't just play using your good pieces. Also try to make your bad pieces good. C takes d5, knight d4, king f7, knight e6. It looks like a white monster sitting in black's camp. Look at c8 to stop rook c7. Queen g4 threatening queen takes g7 check and king e8, queen f8 checkmate. So g6, knight g5 before attack to black's queen. King e8 only move. Now pause the video and find the white's final assault against black king to finish the game. Okay, let's see this one. Obviously, it's not an easy one. Rook takes e7. It's a brilliant move. In this position, black has two interesting options. First we see King takes e7. Obviously, he can't take using queen because of rook takes c8, rook takes c8, queen takes c8, and white is piece up. This e7, rook e1 check. If black plays king d8, knight e6, king e7, knight c5, discovered check, and white wins black queen. So for rook e1 check, if black plays king d6, queen b4 check. For rook c5, I can play rook e6, simply winning. For king c7, knight e6 check, king b8, queen f4 check, rook c7, knight takes c7, queen takes c7, rook e8 checkmate. So black play king f8. For rook takes e7. It's a good move. Obviously, they can't take this queen because of rook takes c1 checkmate. So white has back and weakness. Rook f7 check. King g8, 8. Rook g7 check. Good move. Still black can't take this. Rook because of queen takes d7 check and he can't take using queen also because of rook takes c8. So king h8. If black plays king f8, white will play knight takes x7 check and for king takes g7, queen takes d7 check. So king h8. Rook takes x7 check. After this move, Steenix opponent left the tournament all without resigning and never appeared. So let's see the best possible continuation. King g8, rook g7 check, king h8, queen h4 check, king takes g7, queen h7 check, king f8, queen h8 check, king e7. Queen g7 check, king e8, queen g8 check, king e7, queen f7 check, king d8, queen f8 check, queen e8, knight f7 check, king d7 and queen d6 checkmate. Such a wonderful game from the father of chess. I hope you enjoyed and found something useful from this game. See you soon with another interesting lesson. To see more videos like this, 
subscribe to your channel if you like this video share this with your friends thanks for watching